greetings everybody i am shujat ali from medicos lectures by shujat and today we are going to talk about cns pathology so when we focus on this word central nervous system pathology we are going to talk about the diseases that when we study cases which type of cells are injured and which type of injuries we study in that so let's come to our topic that first of all when we talk about the diseases so there is some morphological patterns that we have so these are few morphological patterns of cns injuries first is neuronal injury neuron as we say central nervous so neuron is a key in that and neuronal injury in case of that cell shrink and nucleolus disappear and nucleus break down so this is the mechanism by which the injury or the process of injury is going to be occur in that cell in case of axonal injury as its name shows axon when we discuss neuron we have its two part one is axon and one is dendrite so in this case part axon part is injured so basically we have an enlargement cell enlargement in that by which enlargement nucleus push toward the site and ultimately at last cell disintegrate and we have an injury and we says that injury at axonal injury third type is intracellular inclusion so when we focus on this word intracellular inclusion these are two words intracellular mean in between cells and inclusion as its name shows inclusion from included so it is the process by which the material they are included by which viral agents include in cns so we have niger bodies which is rounded bodies in case of rabies disease it get involved and affect cns we have all's eyes in case of cytomegala virus and levy's bodies in case of parkinson's disease now talking about uh, cells and then moving towards the brain injuries cells first is astrocyte star shaped cell having role in cell repairing and scar formation if i have injury and scar formation is going to be occur in that place so that process we named that process as glycosis so the process of scar formation in that is glycosis second is gemistocytic astrocyte so when we study it histologically its basic role is in case of injury and in astrocyte work activity it promote that work activity so it is also playing its role in repairing and cell uh, in repairing of cell damage basic then we have microglial cell in cns we have a long rod cell we name that as microglial mostly involved in case of viral infection now we have acquired brain injuries so there is two types of injuries one is traumatic and one is non traumatic traumatic as its name shows trauma mean a person fall and due to that accident or due to that we have a trauma situation and we name that as traumatic situation and we have one of non traumatic injuries non traumatic are further classified into anoxia due to some infection due to tumor or due to metabolic disorders we have an injury we name that injury as non traumatic injuries traumatic is further divided into two types open brain injury and closed brain injury as their name shows open brain injury so they may be due to the accident fall assault abuse or surgery we developed an situation of injury and we name that as traumatic open brain injury closed brain injury is second classification of traumatic as its name shows closed brain injury like we have intraarterial burst and uh, due to that bleeding appear in brain so that is closed brain injury so sharing and intraarterial pressure is basically involved in that so guys when we discuss in quick summary we discussed the morphological patterns the types of injury cells that are going to be involved in it and acquired brain injury its types traumatic and non traumatic so hope you all will understand it well don't forget to subscribe medicos lectures by shudya thanks so much